How's it going, everybody? So we have some very good news. We now have the confirmed first quarter toy listing for Common Rider Revise. So first, I'm just going to read straight down through the toy listing here. And then once I go through all of it, I am going to, uh, then we'll get into like the speculation and kind of look at this list and try and piece together how maybe how some of it works. But uh, yeah, so early August, we have our early preview wave with Link Item A and Rider Hero Series figure uh, 01 First Rider. So that is, of course, going to be revised himself. Link Item A, uh, it's probably not going to be his main gimmick item. It's not going to be the T-Rex stamp. Um, cause they, they normally don't sell the DX version of the main Link Item separately from the driver uh which going into early september we have first rider main belt with one link item uh which it's curious how they phrase it as first rider main belt so uh, but uh, at this point i think it's kind of a given that once we get to the final form he's probably going to have a new driver uh but we also in early september have a first rider main belt 50th anniversary set and that uh, said to come with two link items. So that's probably the T-Rex and then who knows what the other one could be. Uh, and then we also have link item B and that comes with the link item holder. There's also weapon item A and Rider Hero Series 2 Buddy Rider A. And so Buddy Rider is probably that other writer-like character that's been showing up in all these leaked images alongside Revise, uh, which looking at them, that kind of makes me think it's almost like what uh, Zinc Hydra's been doing with the Kikanoids. Like, uh, you know, someone whose civilian form is still kind of a robot or monster, and then they can transform alongside the main writer. And then going into uh, mid-September, we have Link Item C and the uh, First Rider and Buddy Rider figure set. So I'm guessing that's like the uh, Rider Kick figure uh, series. Um, and then late September, we have Link Item D and a phone item. And I'm guessing that phone item is probably Revice's motorcycle. Because, uh, you know, the, the Common Rider's got to have a motorcycle, you know? But yeah, so for September, the first month of Revice, it looks like we're going to have, you know, one driver, one rider, one buddy rider, and possibly five or six link items uh, and one weapon. Uh, and of course, the phone slash probably bike. So at this point in the list, uh, you know, we still can't really see what Revice's link items are going to do. There's not really any evidence of form changes here. Uh, so, so far, it looks like these could just be, you know, random power-up abilities, kind of like um, what, I guess kind of like what Kamen Rider Wizard's rings, other than his transformation ones, did. Uh, or it could just be that form change stuff releases in the later months. Because, you know, not every little form change gets a figure. And, of course, with Revice being the 50th anniversary season, there's a possibility that some of the link items on this list are just going to be uh, Legend Rider stuff that's never going to actually appear on the show, probably. Uh, and so it may just be essentially filler. But uh, while we're here, I should note that um, the... Uh, main belt is a, it's a little bit cheaper than what a couple of past drivers have been uh, not my uh, excuse me, not by much but a little bit and on the same hand the link items are a little bit more expensive so uh, it, it sounds like um, some of the electronics that would normally be part of the driver are maybe part of the link item this year uh, which it, it the link items are said to have lights and sounds. But anyway, moving into October. Early October, we have link item E, 
Mid-October, we have link item F, which comes with the link item storage and uh, also link item storage extender, which uh, is said to be three pieces. And then late October, we have link item G, link item H, weapon item B, and first rider form change parts A and B set. Okay, so that's adding four new link items. And now we have some evidence of form changing for Revice. Uh, but it, it's clear that it's some kind of gimmick. Because um, it is just sets of parts rather than whole new figures. Um, and uh, the way this list is set up, I mean, we can't, we honestly can't really know if, you know, form change parts A and B if they're connected to link item A and link item B, or are they connected to link item G and link item H because they release around the same time? But yeah, like there's really no telling what it could be if it's like, you know, kind of armor swapping parts, like maybe what Gaim had, or if it's kind of more modular pieces like Forza and Drive. Um... Yeah, I mean, it could be anything, and I'm also looking at this at this point, kind of wondering, okay, maybe, you know, some of the stamps maybe trigger form changes, and maybe some of the others summon weapons, because now we have two different weapons, um, and then maybe some of them are just trigger random powers or something. But, uh, yeah, with the possibility that the stamps might summon weapons, that kind of makes me think of, um, that one rumor that for Revice that came out not too long ago. Uh, basically, the rumor said that he had, like, while his form was based on a T-Rex, his main weapon was going to be pterodactyl-themed. So it could be, you know, he uses the pterodactyl stamp to summon the pterodactyl sword. But yeah, so here at the end of October, now we have nine or ten different link items, two different weapons, and evidence that Revice and Slash or his buddy Ryder have like, or well actually no, definitely Revice himself, maybe the buddy Ryder, because it does say first Ryder form change parts. But yeah, evidence that Revice has about three different forms so far. Now going into November, uh, nothing early November, but then mid-November we have second rider main belt and it comes with one link item. So we have a, a second rider on the table now. Uh, and then we also have a link item I and first rider form change parts C and D set. And then late November we have rider hero series figure 03 Buddy Rider B, and then Rider Hero Series Figure 04, Second Rider A, and Rider Hero Series number 5, Second Rider B. So I'm looking at this and I'm trying to think of okay, so Buddy Rider B, does Revice get a second Buddy Rider, or does the Buddy Rider he have get a second form? And then, or because it releases at the same time as the secondary rider, does the secondary rider have his own buddy rider? You know, uh, and then the fact that there are two secondary riders listed, you know, is that is that a form change? Does he start off with two forms, or does is there, are there two secondary riders? Because I think, with it being the Rider Hero series figures, they don't give every little form change a figure. It's normally just, you know, a Rider's main base form, and then the main Rider's power-ups. That's usually all that gets figures in the Rider Hero series. You know, like, it, it could be that, you know, it seems like the Revice driver, you know, will allow the person who is Revice and this Buddy Rider to both transform at the same time. So it could be that the secondary Rider's driver, it might allow two 
different people to both transform into writers at the same time. It could be something like that, or two different people and a second buddy writer. So, uh, again, this summing up at this point, we have 11 or 12 different link items on the table, two different weapons, both of which belong to Revice because both weapons are introduced before the secondary riders. And we now have at least two, but possibly three riders and one or two buddy riders. And evidence that Revice has about five different forms at this point. And then lastly, going into early December, we have the first rider power-up link item and Rider Hero series figure number six, first rider power-up form. So uh, pretty obvious, but early December, Revice is getting his first like major power-up form. And there we have it. That is all for Revice's first quarter. So two, possibly three riders, one or two buddy riders, 12 or 13 or so link items, two different drivers, the phone that's probably a bike, weapon holster, or not weapon holster, a gimmick holster, and the link item storage item thing. And then Revice has about five different forms, or, or six, one you know, big major power-up form. But yeah, this, uh, this toy listing is very vague. Like, it, it's more vague than uh, what Saber's was. Because like with Saber, it, we at least got like a little descriptor of what link, I, excuse me, what each link item was. Like with the, uh, with the Brave Dragon Wonder Ride book, it would be called like Link Item Dragon and so on. Yeah, and we're, we're unfortunately not even getting that with this list. Uh, you know, just A, B, C all the way down, and we don't even know if, you know, if Link Item A corresponds to Buddy Rider A or uh, Form Change Parts A or anything like that. But yeah, it seems pretty clear that at least some of the Link Items do cause form changes for Revice, but they, we have so many of them that, you know, don't have form changes associated with them that it it seems unlikely that all of the link items cause form changes. Like, like I say, some may, may summon the weapons. Some may just cause like you know random special powers. Of course, there is always the possibility that a lot of these link items may just be Legend Rider stamps that are never going to show up in the series proper. Because the uh, the to the uh, candy toy listing for Revice. It only listed uh, four link items, and we have, you know, four different form changes for Revice. So it's possible that those are just like the main four link items, and those are the only ones that are going to play a role in the series. Of course, that being said, the candy toy listing, you know, it may just be for, you know, the candy toy I think is released in waves instead of quarters, so that, you know, we may, may not be seeing the whole first quarter of Candy Toys. That may just be the first wave. Which, going by this DX listing, I mean, we have three, maybe four different Link items already in early September, if not by mid-September. So, it could easily be that it's just, the Candy Toy is just the first wave. But uh, to close out, we uh, actually do have some uh, leaked images of the Revice driver and one other stamp. So starting with the Revice driver, we can see that it's kind of that purple-blue color and that kind of pink-red color. And this is the first look we're getting, or the first good look we're getting at the uh, stamp, the link item. We still don't have official confirmations on names, but... You know, most likely, Revice Driver, and the rumored name for the stamp is the uh, Zaru Driver, or excuse me, the, the Zaru Stamps, or it, it's something like that. And we, we can see here, as described, the Revice Driver's screen is kind of that magnetic drawing board material, 
like what our uh, old friend Joe described. And then, uh, but yeah, looking at the T-Rex stamp, notably it doesn't really match uh, Revice's colors. Uh, or it, I guess it kind of does. It's got like, like uh, so, some people were kind of looking at it and saying the T-Rex emblem and the, it looks kind of like, um, it's kind of the pink color or pink red of Kamurai Ichigo's original eye color. And the blue you know, background of the stamp kind of matches his original suit color that you know that kind of darker blue shade which that suit is coming back in the superhero sinky movie and people are looking at that and then looking at kind of the background pattern on the stamp and saying that you know the stamp isn't just representative of a t-rex it's a t-rex and common ichigo uh, basically you know People are looking at this trying to squeeze a Legend Rider motif out of this because it's, you know, the 50th anniversary. Uh, which, I mean, maybe, but the, the colors aren't quite right for Ichigo, I don't think. And the background pattern, that could easily be Revice himself rather than Ichigo. But the second stamp kind of lends more credence to that theory. Because uh, I'll change the picture over here. Uh, I mean... The, we have the shark or megalodon stamp. Um, and if you look at it, the shark is green like Decade's eye color. And the background of the stamp is his regular magenta color. And then the kind of background pattern of it is that same barcode pattern on Kamen Rider Decade's face. And there was an older rumor for Revice that said that the theme for Revice was going to be a mixture of animals and legend or legendary riders. And one of the uh, forms that they listed was a uh, shark and common rider decayed. You know, so, so seeing this kind of shark like stamp with Kamen Rider Decade's coloring and pattern, uh, you know, people are looking at this and going, oh, that rumor was true. Which it may very well be. I mean, the toy listing is so vague that we somehow still don't have solid confirmation of what the theme for Revice's whole series is going to be. You know, is it going to be dinosaurs all the way through, animals all the way through, or animals and Legend Rider? Or is like, you know, just Revice going to be dinosaurs and all the other writers just going to be animals? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, and, uh, oh, just another interesting thing. We had a rumor come out not long ago that uh, pretty early on in the series there's going to be like two additional writers, Kamen Rider Megalo and Kamen Rider Tops. Um, and a lot of people were thinking that Megalo was going to be uh, what we've pretty well now identified to be the buddy rider. But it's just interesting that we had two uh, rumored names come up and then not long after we have, you know, what seems to be confirmation of possibly two secondary riders. But uh, that, that's just kind of a small thing. Um, that 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 was packaged with the, uh, the pterodactyl sword rumor. It was in that kind of same set of rumors, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, I believe that covers everything for now. Um, again, if you want more videos like this, uh, just you know, let me know, comment about you know how you like the video, or and discuss all this in the comments. Tell me how you like it, or what you think of it. Um, I'm interested to see people's you know speculation and theories about how they think stuff's going to work. And if uh, it would really help me out if you uh, like this video and share it around and all that. But uh, I'll see you next time and uh, have a good day.